So I'm recording a quick video uh, tutorial for to answer the Stack Overflow question. And here's the question is, how can we go from that particular format to a format where each value in column B, so it's multi-value cells with a comma, how we can create one line per value while filling down the other column and keeping the relationship between option one and A, B, C, D and then option two with C, D, F, and so on. So I've recreated the same data set in OpenRefine, created an extra column for column N, just to show we can have like multiple column uh, after that. So first, what we're gonna do is use the edit cell split multi-value cell, and we're gonna split on um, comma, so here what's going is like every time open refine see a comma, it creates a new record, a new rows here, and it creates a record so we know like those set of rows belong to the same original records. Uh, what we're gonna do is a quick trim uh, to, to clean up the column. And now we're gonna work on the field down. Uh, and here, two options, either we use um, Fill down from the drop down menu, and it's um, it's working fine on on uh, adding the data and repeating the data for every single line within the record. Uh, or we can do that using a Grail expression, uh, which is row record cells, and here you can put your column name. And then I'm selecting the first. So here I'm looking within my record in the column name called C. And I'm selecting, so that creates an array for all the value here. So for example, if I select column B, uh, that creates an array, uh, sorry, column B, that creates an array for all the options. And in that case, we just select the first one, which is expressed with the value zero in open refine. And I can do the fill down this way. Uh, if you have a lot of column, what's interesting here is using the transform all. And instead of putting the art coding, the column name, we can use column name without any quote, which is a variable that will dynamically retrieve the column name to generate the field down. And here's a trick is when I want to do uh, that, I do not select column B because I don't want to overwrite my column B with A, like with the first value of the first row in the record. And I do not select column A because column A is used to create and maintain the logic of the record. And OpenRefine will just start Oh, that's new to me. Uh, so we can select column A, drag it at the end, and hopefully it will fill down column A at the end. So it really like lose the notion of record uh, after being able to fill down all the other column. Never use it, let's see how it goes. And being able to fill down everything, you see here it's been, in the history it's been filling down column A, uh, column A, uh, in last. Um, thanks for the question. Uh, I was looking for a good tutorial to introduce this, this column name uh, variable, and I think that was a great opportunity. Let me know if you have any question. Thank you.